Welcome to Tenkata GeoTube 101 Session 3, Dewatering Technology. Now that you have already learned what GeoTube containers do in Session 1 of GeoTube 101, and about one of the principal applications, marine structures, in Session 2, we are ready to learn about the other principal application, dewatering. Geotube containers may be utilized to dewater sludge, which can then be hauled to a suitable landfill, or the containers themselves may be left in place and entombed in a permanent enclosure. The higher the level of water removed, the more economical it is to transport the material to an approved disposal site. First question, true or false? Geotube containers will allow the release of water from properly conditioned sludge while containing the contaminated solids. The answer is true. Properly conditioned sludge pumped into geotube containers can deliver virtually clear, effluent water that, if permits allow, can be returned to its original source. Next question. Which dewatering process does not require routine maintenance to ensure performance of the dewatering equipment? A mechanical belt presses, B, centrifuges, C, geotube containers, D, none of the above. The answer is C, geotube containers. Unlike mechanical dewatering equipment, Geotube containers do not require routine maintenance or an inventory of spare parts to ensure continued operation. Next question. If a contractor suggests geotube containers are not a viable solution to dewater sludge, you should. A. Question their IQ. B snicker at them behind their back. C, contact Tenkata to learn about the many advantages of geotube dewatering. D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Thanks for attending Tenkata Geotube 101. You're dismissed. <laughs>